What's up guys, Matt from footballboots.co.uk and today we'll be counting down our top 10 failed wonder kids with each player featuring some interesting career stories so make sure to watch throughout. Karamoko Dembele is the latest wonder kid to hit the screens after videos of the 13 year old Celtic youngster have gone viral of the little magician embarrassing opponents with sublime trickery, ball control and technique which has seen the player fast tracked into the club's under 20 squad already. But will Karamoko Dembele become football's latest failed promise or actually fulfill expectations and become the next Pele, Zidane or Maradona? Well this video will run through our biggest flops of all time. A 2009 study showed that only 10% of academy footballers are actually handed a professional contract and football pundit Clark Carlisle has since stated that only 1% of players involved in the game actually make it to a professional level. So starting off our top 10 failed wonder kids is actually a previous winner of the highly respected Golden Boy Award back in 2008, Anderson. Signing for Manchester United Club in July 2007 for 20 million pounds, Anderson arrived at the mega club as a highly talented prospect and received the Golden Boy Award for being the most impressive young player in Europe that calendar year. Being assigned Wayne Rooney's number eight shirt showed just how much the Manchester United Club expected of Anderson However, the promising star never really hit the highest predicted through a combination of numerous injuries and nutritional issues. Teammate Patrice Evra even once joked to Rio Ferdinand on camera saying how he'd bring Anderson his burger at one o'clock. Maybe a fact which attributed to Anderson needing an oxygen mask after just 36 minutes. Our number nine spot goes to a player once hailed as the Black Zidane, Gail Kakuta. Signing for Chelsea in September 2009 not only made the headlines as the London club had apparently discovered the next biggest star in football, however also saw Chelsea banned from signing any players for two transfer windows due to being involved in inducing the player to break his contract with previous club lens. Kukuta would also be banned from football for four months and even afterwards remained a ghost at Chelsea, but only making six appearances in six years. Loaned out to six clubs across Europe whilst a Chelsea player, the once black Zidane, however now 25 year old forgotten man, plays for her by China fortune in the Chinese Super League. Our number eight failed wonder kid goes to a player who described himself as being similar in playing style to Cristiano Ronaldo. Portuguese counterpart Bebe. Stating how he runs and shoots the same as Real Madrid's greatest ever goal scorer, Bebe was seen as Cristiano Ronaldo's protege after being signed by Manchester United in 2010 for 7.4 million pounds. Arguably the most surprising factor of Manchester United signing Bebe was that Sir Alex Ferguson had actually never seen the forward play football. An interesting decision to make to sign a forward who had only scored four goals in 26 matches, but don't worry, Bebe has since added to his tally by clocking up 26 goals, albeit in 161 appearances whilst on loan. Bebe only ever made seven appearances in total for United over four seasons and now plays in La Liga for Ibar. So next up is a player who remains as a young talent who still has the chance to prove critics wrong, Martin Odegaard. Odegaard first made headlines across world football after becoming the youngest ever player to play within Norway's elite tier of football at just 15 years old and at the same age represent his nation in a qualifying match for the European Championships. Capturing the eye of Europe's biggest clubs, Odegaard would train with the first teams of Liverpool, Bayern Munich, Manchester United, Manchester City and Arsenal before showing enough potential to interest arguably the biggest club in world football, Real Madrid. Signing to Los Blancos for an initial fee of £3 million which could rise to over £8 million in early 2016, Odegaard moved to the Spanish capital with the heaviest of expectations and has yet to make his mark through only represented the Real Madrid first team once. Currently plying his trade for the reserve team on a daily basis, Carlo Ancelotti, who was the manager of Real Madrid at the time, has recently stated how club president Florentino Perez was behind the transfer and mentioned how he demanded Odegaard would play the first three games with the first team as a public relations exercise. So number six goes to the mystery man, Dong Fang Zhu. What happened to the first ever East Asian player to sign for Manchester United and play at the Theatre of Dreams? Dong Fang Zhu started to make a name for himself as a potential deadly six foot striker by being named as the most valuable player in the under 17s tournament in 2000 and was subsequently snapped up by Manchester United. But why hasn't the name Fang Zhu gone down in United history? 
Well, the Chinese striker remains significantly unknown after making just one league appearance in his time with the Red Devils in a 0-0 draw with Chelsea back in 2007, clearly not making the mark on the elite scene expected by Sir Alex and the Old Trafford faithful. Failing to impress, Van Zhu was sold back to China at Daily An Shai. However, reported poor performances saw him relegated to the reserve team and dropped from international selection. His career was essentially over before even beginning. Now 31 years of age and unattached to a club, Dong Fang Zhu last played in China's second tier of football for Hebei Zhongzhi, scoring just the two goals. Halfway through our list at number five, and it's the once golden boy of English football, John Bostock, who features next. Numerous headlines within England over the last few years have all prompted the same question. Where did it all go wrong for John Bostock? The future superstar of Crystal Palace's youth system, who at just 14 years old was approached by Chelsea, sent a shirt by Arsenal's Cesc Fabregas and incredibly received a pair of Ronaldinho's boots from one of the greatest ever players himself. Posing as Crystal Palace's most exciting prospect since the signing of unknown amateur Ian Wright, Bostock progressed through the youth ranks being developed and nurtured and subsequently made his first team debut at a club record breaking age of just 15 years and 287 days. With the previously mentioned mega clubs competing against each other for Bostock's signature, the London born player opted to remain in the capital, however signed for Tottenham Hotspur in 2008 for over a million pounds, which the Crystal Palace chairman Simon Jordan said was so disgusting that he intended to revoke and refund Johns and his dad Selhurst Park season tickets for the 2008-09 season. Perhaps to Simon Jordan's delight, John Bostock somehow managed to become an unwanted player at Tottenham Hotspur after just one season with the club, making his one sole appearance in the FA Cup against Cheltenham Town. After leaving Spurs, Bostock has seen better times in football after signing for Royal Antwerp under manager Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, which earned a move to Leuven, where he picked up the Proximus Player of the Season award after scoring 13 goals and providing 19 assists. Bostock now plays in the French League 2 with RC Lens and hopes to reignite his once bright career. Francis Jeffers, or Franny Jeffers as some call him, comes in at number 4. Hailed as one of England's most exciting prospects and having the potential to emulate the likes of Gary Lineker as a national goalscoring hero, Francis Jeffers went from Everton's young hero to Arsenal's total zero after his £11 million flop transfer, making his Premier League debut for the Toffees at just 16 years of age against Manchester United. Franny Jeffers progressed within Everton's first team by scoring 18 league goals for the Merseyside club before leaving his teenage years, which spurred an £11 million offer from Arsenal. Described as a fox in the box and Arsenal's missing piece, Jeffers scored just eight goals in three seasons with the Gunners, and previous reported issues concerning his attitude may have caused his lacklustre performances and being alienated from the club. A young Jeffers back at Everton was said to knock on the door of Walter Smith demanding a new contract with the manager replying to Franny, get of my office before I kill you. Francis Jeffers finished his career with League Two's Accrington Stanley. Who are they? I'll let you finish that sentence. So into our top three failed wonder kids, and here was arguably England's most promising central midfielder of the past 10 years, Michael Johnson. Renowned for his technical attributes, however hailed for his intelligence and reading of the game at such a premature age, Michael Johnson was manager to City's future Steven Gerrard, however his career was cut disappointingly short through numerous injuries and mental health problems. Whilst the previous names in this top 10 list have flopped through failing to live up to their early hype, Michael Johnson's story is more heartfelt than disappointing due to his admittance to crumbling under the high pressure of professional football and suffering from depression. Johnson was the captain of City's youth team which reached the final of the 2005-06 FA Youth Cup and was tipped to become the club's future captain later on his flourishing career. Then manager Stuart Pearce was a clear admirer of Johnson and handed the 18 year old his first team debut, which posed as the beginning of Johnson becoming the club's jewel in the crown, however the good times didn't last. Successive hamstring, knee and double hernia injuries stopped Johnson from developing into his undoubted stardom and made only 10 appearance after his introductory season. Along with the injuries, Johnson also spoke of how pressure affected him mentally off the pitch, which saw him fine £5,500 and banned from driving for three years after being caught over the alcohol limit twice in three months months and was also regularly spotted on the nightclub scene which saw him become overweight for a professional footballer. 
Manchester City released Johnson in late 2012 after failing to make an appearance for the club for three seasons and the ex-player has now invested in a fine dining restaurant in Manchester. Down to number two and what a goal. Step forward Federico Marqueda, who scored one of the most iconic late winning goals of the Premier League back in 2009 against Aston Villa which helped Manchester United lift the trophy. If you haven't seen the goal, check it out, especially for Martin Tyler's commentary. The now known player for his never ending loan spells, Federico Marqueda was once the hottest name for his 95th minute heroics in a Manchester United shirt. However, that one hit wonder will forever remain as his career highlight. After the moment of sending Old Trafford into jubilation, nobody knew the future for Marqueda as the vast majority had never even seen him play before. However, nobody could have guessed he'd be sent on loan to Doncaster Rovers, along with several other smaller clubs in the Manchester Giants. A hardly seen Man United player from 2008 was finally released by the club in 2014 after just 19 league appearances and signed for Cardiff City in the Championship. Marcada's Cruyff turn and curl finish will be the only memory football fans will have of the Italian forward, who is unsurprisingly currently on loan, again at Nottingham Forest. So we finally reached our number one biggest flop in our top 10 failed wonder kids. Any guess who it is? Of course, it's the infamous Freddie Adu. Who remembers the hype of a 14 year old youngster that was labeled as the new Pelé? Well, I definitely can and still can't believe how Freddie Adu has failed to become the player he and everyone else promised to become. In football, there's a term journeyman, which describes a player that is signed for numerous clubs throughout their career, and Freddie Adu has totted up in an incredible tally of 13, and he's still only 27 years old. Can he break half a century of clubs? We'll see. From becoming the youngest ever American athlete by signing for DC United at just 14 years old in 2004, he now plays for the Tampa Bay Rowdies alongside Joe Cole in the less prestigious North American Soccer League. He's also been reported to selling vacuum cleaners on Twitter and advertising soup. Fame to shame in a blink. There's our top 10 failed wonder kids guys. Who else can you think of that would feature in your list? Good luck to Karamoko Dembele. Thanks for watching. Cheers.